Hey everybody, welcome back to my next episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. We're still at Jamgard here, and we're going to take a mission. We actually just arrived here last episode. So we're going to pull off a quick mission before the end of the month. I want to do Corporate Secrets here. It's a recovery mission in the desert uh, for some good salvage. Now we do have enough money to make it through, so we're going to go full salvage here today. I'm going to accept this, and we're going to deploy with our standard lance and uh, get this mission done. All right, here we go. Four mechs on the ground. So this particular mission, uh, or this particular map anyway, normally when you move in, there's four guys down here and then you get reinforcements from this side. So we're just going to slowly move up right after we reserve right back to turn one. Waiting for the shot. If you have fast mechs on this map, it's so easy to get this job mission, mission completed here. So I'm not going to sprint in this time, I'm just going to move up and brace because I really don't know what we're up against and like a lot of this puts us out in the open. Moving out. So I want to play it safe here for the first few, yeah. well at least one first turn anyway. Understood. Now the Jenner, we're still running our two, two MMR, M, M, MRM10s. Um, I had a couple look in the store there, there's a couple of LRM10s plus that gave us bonus... Um, to hit and evasion ignore. I like to be able to work that back into the Jenner, um, either the LRM 10s or the uh, Thunderbolts. Um, but right now, without an XL engine, it's really difficult to do that. I'd have to lower the engine weight and anyway. So let's do. Ready for order. All right, buddy. It's time for you to get busy here. Let's get down in here and see if we can see anything. I'm not seeing anybody. Yep. That's interesting. Understood. Let's get into the trees. Get some evasion going. Orders. All right, pilot. I'm taking you down further. Okay, there's our first chevron. There's our second one. Third one. So it looks like we got two lights in a medium. I want to get the uh, Centurion down here. I want to get him in with the dead fire ammo to be able to, be able to blast that medium. So as a goblin, I've got to worry about that guy. So this guy, if you've never encountered these guys before, can be really dangerous if he gets in close. So we've got to make sure we kill him. Let's reserve. Eight Z, we're not really that worried about. Now we don't want to grab the uh, scientist right away. We want to kill these guys first. Usually, what happens when you grab the scientist is they dogpile you. All right. Well, let's see how we can get this started here. Is there no way we can see the goblin? I guess not. So let's sprint down in here. Let's go back a little further. What's the chance to hit here? Not very good, but we're going to move in and take it anyway. I'm going to stay in the mineral field just in case the goblin decides to move in a melee. Alright, it's a pretty good start. Comes their medium. Could be just about anything with an AC there. Ready for orders. Okay, we're gonna just walk down to here. Gonna get in the mineral field, get a bit more defense. We're gonna fire everything on this guy. Oh, three hits, not bad. Okay, there goes the left torso. There's nothing in that side anyway, but at least we got a good start here. So Hickory, let's move over this side. Roger. Let's pelt this guy with some MRMs here. Wow, they almost all hit. That was awesome. All right, recoil. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get some evasion going and get right down in here. 
Give this guy the what for. I really shouldn't be doing this with because of that goblin, but this guy's got some good evasion, so I'm gonna fire everything on this guy. Wow, would have expected for more to hit, but that's all right. I guess that was about forty percent of forty percent of the shots that hit. So it's gonna force that guy to go first. Yeah, he better be an ace pilot. Yeah. Okay, so I'm um, gonna let them go. Reserve an action. Oh, we can see what was up there. That looked like a uh, enforcer or something. Yeah, I thought so. Here he comes. Oh, 128. Are you kidding me? Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Whoa. That guy is deadly. Shadowhawk 1R. Alright, not so bad. Uh, we gotta kill this goblin like now. So, uh... Down to 51 in the torso. Well, it could have been a lot worse. So I'm turning here. Everything into the back of this guy. He's got ridiculous evasion too. Alright, let's get recoil going second. Or sorry, yeah, Hickory. Let's get you around here. That's not the back. Can we get to the back of that guy? Only if we sprint, I guess. We should be in the open, though. It's going to give us a better chance to hit. Okay, everything in the back of this guy. I'm trying to go for stability here more than anything. Confirmed. If we can knock his stability down, then he'll lose his evasion. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, though. I guess we have to melee him to do that, but even then, we got a low chance to hit. Let's hope re reinforcements don't come anytime soon. Maybe this guy will run away. Just to back up. Okay, we haven't even penned his back armor yet. Where's he going? Is he fleeing? Looks like he is. Okay, we penned one side. Uh, yep. We need to finish this guy up now. Cannot be... Uh... <laughs> We can't be messing around with this guy, so let's just get up here. Copy that. Gotta finish this guy now. Alright, everything on him. Copy that. He's so ridiculously evasive too. Okay, more damage. A little bit more instability. So we're gonna go with uh, cold metal next. Um, let's reserve and see what they do. I want to use cold metal next because the, the uh, missiles will give him some instability. And then if I can make him unstable, everybody else should have no problem penning his back. Receiving you. All the uh, lasers should just go right through. So let's get... We need to sprint it. Like this. I know we're turning our back to everybody else, but we really have no choice at this point in time. Okay, that should be enough to make him unstable. Yep, bye-bye evasion. And a bye-bye goblin, hopefully. Shadowhawk moving in. Not... Blank. Yeah, I know. Sorry, but we had to do it that way. This I goblin does like 115 right. damage with a punch, man. Or 125, whatever it was. I, I, I can't have him Stay doing by. that. 
He decides to melee again. We're in trouble. Okay, everything into this guy's back. Good, great chances to hit. Let's leave this. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, medium's better chance to hit than this one, but this one does more damage. Oh, God. Alright, just fire three. Nice, three hits. There we go. Excellent. Might be some good salvage there, we'll see. Um, not gonna engage. Just gonna move over here and fortify. Wait for everybody else to come back. Okay, now we can move Hickory in. We can see that panther, but he can't see us. So, oh. Let's just turn around then. If he can't see us, that's fine. I'm gonna unload on the side of this guy. Nice. A critical hit. Not quite unstable, but he's certainly on fire. Oh, great. Oh, good. R10. Light rifle. Okay. Yeah. Eh, you're just gonna sit there for a minute if you don't mind. I wanna see what the Shadow Hawk's gonna do. Alright. That's alright. Let's go down and make him unstable. Let's get in the trees. Gonna unload on this guy. Hmm, not quite enough for instability. But, I mean, enough to make it easier to hit. I copy. Right after. This, hopefully? Nope. Okay, recoil. Let's get right up this guy's nose. No, 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 CT, CT. Damn you. No, no, you want the CT, dude. He's not moving. I'm here. Confirmed. All right, turning our right side away from these guys. So the question is now: Do we finish up the Shadowhawk, which we probably try, should try and do, or finish this guy up? I think we should go with the Shadowhawk. Let's fire everything. Firing. Okay, cool. Got past the armor. So that wasn't too bad. Recall should be able to finish this up now. Doesn't look like there's going to be any reinforcements. We would have heard. We would have heard from them by now. Let's just walk it back to here. Fire almost everything. Leave the two smalls off. Fire all this. That should probably do it, yeah. Target eliminated. Bang, you're dead. Alright, so let's use Pylon first. I want to get him in. I'm going to spread him up here. Just like this. A little bit too far zoomed in. We've got some good evasion. And we'll use the three medium lasers on this guy. Ah, oh, only one hit where we wanted to. Although we lost a leg, though. Reporting critical hit. So at least we have cut. Oh, there, never mind. I was going to say we have two guys that can go before him next turn, but uh, don't have to worry about that now. All right, let's unload on this guy. I should do a precision strike or an offensive push. I mean, we're going to try for the arm. I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's try for a CT hit. Just gonna fire everything. Uh, the reason for it is I want both of my lights to go next. Enemy 
So we can clean this up really easy here. So we're going to get recoil up in here. Right up in there. Just walk it up. We're going to push him back again. And we're going to try and take the leg this time. Fire all these guys. Of course, why would you shoot the leg? Uh, why would... I don't even know. Alright. Let's see if you can hit the leg. Probably not. A <laughs> ah, man. Let's try it. I think he's gonna die here. Alright, well we knocked him over. One of three. So, pylon. Uh, if you don't move, could try and take his head off. He's got four in his CT. What does it matter? Uh, it doesn't matter. Even if we shot his head, the damage would transfer to the CT and he would have died anyway, so. We can salvage that. I don't really care to. Thank you. On the move. This should be it. There we go, that was easy. So we got time for a half skull one, I think. Gonna jump right into a second mission. Took a little bit of back damage on the Jenner. Uh, yeah, a little bit penned there and penned here, but we didn't lose any components. Nothing was damaged on the inside, so that's good. So we've got to choose what we want here. Triple plus flamer's nice. Mag shot's nice too. Uh, ooh, DNI cockpit. Plus one melee accuracy. Another ECM. Don't have any of these guys. Let's take one of them. DNI cockpit probably. Um, didn't get much off that guy. We got claws, but we don't really working on a melee mech right now. Um, but there's nothing really else, I guess. Let's take the claws. I'm not really a big melee mech fan, but we might get something out of that. So let's confirm this. So we did get all the mech parts, excellent. Uh, large laser minus, which we can sell. Rocket launcher we can sell. Yeah, a couple of other things, not bad. Okay, so when we, once we get back, we're going to repair our mechs and then just jump right into another contract. I don't really want to um, waste too much time. So we'll just do a straight up repair. Be nice if we could find uh, another one of those catapults. At least another catapult down there. Maybe we can can maximize our parts on it. Try blow or something along that line. But we'll see. All right. So they took for them for the locals. Not a big deal. Oh, Panther nine A leg. Nice. So we got a Panther now. Eighteen thousand in repairs. Not too bad. So let's just go to the mech bay real quick. Have a look at this Panther. Let's refit him. Let's see what he... Oh, he's got a fusion core in him, which is great. Which we can repair. Come on, refit. Let's do this. So, we're going to repair everything. So, we got the fusion core and a heatsink. Nice. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. So, that's... We're on our way to getting a second Lance going here. So, we're going to confirm this. We want to get this repaired. Right. Then, we're going to check our work in progress here. Let's manage our tasks real quick. Panther La Centurion, let's move up. So we should be done in four days. Cool. So uh, let's do this. Got to go through our financial report, no big deal. Yep, 230000 So it's not too bad. We're not paying that much yet. One more day. There we go. Actually, one more day to get our pilots back. There we are. All right, let's have a look at the command center now. Let's get into a second contract here. Could probably do one of these smaller ones. Raiding party is not bad. Forward observers is not bad. So this is just a battle in the desert. This is battle in the badlands. This is against pirates. This is against planetary government. Let's go against pirates. Two hundred. It's a little bit better, yeah, money wise. So let's negotiate. They could have more forces on the ground that, well, than what they're telling us, but uh, that don't. That only means more salvage for us. So let's drop with our stand standard lance and get this done. All right, here we go. 
Four max on the ground. So this looks like it might just be a straight up fight if we get reinforcements they're going to come from here. Um, depending on usually my strength, um, usually depends on how I will tackle this. Sometimes I'll go up this hill uh, and fight up here, downhill wise, try and take on any reinforcements that come in. Other times I'll move around here. I think what we want to do is we want to force them to come down and engage us. So I think we're going to use this ridge here to protect ourselves from anybody up here and engage these guys down here um, and force them into a battle that they don't want to have to come down into. So I think that's probably what we're going to do. So we're going to reserve this and then we're going to get a recoil. I want to sprint him up, try and get him over here as far as possible. See what we're up against here. we got two chevrons. I really have to get his tactics up more so we can see if they're mechs or not. Uh, we're going to reserve at this point. Let's see what they do. Standing by. I'm hoping they're just reserving. And they're not heavy mechs. Although if, if it's catapult, I'd be happy. Yeah, they got reinforcements coming. So I'm making the right choice by making my way to the right. I don't want to move into the center and get flanked from both sides. I want to come in and kill as many guys down here as I can first before engaging what's up there. And so far these guys are kind of walking right into what I was hoping that would happen. Okay, another guy up on the hill. It's okay, we'll take care of him, buddy. So three mechs. What's this guy? Not close enough yet. Okay, Hickory. Yep. Not going to be able to shoot, but we're going to get up here. All right, full speed. And pylon. Now the question is, is do I want to engage early? And I don't think I do in this case. On the move, full speed. I want to use the terrain to minimize the amount of guys that can actually shoot at me at one time. So let's move into here. Thank God there's no long time artillery because you know being clustered like this is just a death sentence. So we're gonna reserve. I want okay, so it's four lights, so it's not too bad down here. Unless of course it's like a couple of goblins and then we're in trouble. So these guys are supposed to be the scout lights. Yeah, here they come. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Yeah, they're probably all probably eight lights or at least six lights and two mediums, something like that. We'll see what they rolled here in a second. Okay, so it looks like this guy's nominated himself to be killed first. Now in order to engage, I'm going to have to move back to the left slightly. I want to clean these two guys up that are by the rock. And I want to remove that... Uh, that's just a stinger. I want to remove the um, locust that's out there. So we're going to move with the Centurion first. Um, and I think what I want to do is I'm going to sprint back over here. I know I was saying that I want to engage from the right and stay behind the rocks, but I can always sprint back over there. It's no problem. So I'm going to move over here. I want to get an idea of what we're up against. So we got two more mechs up here. This guy's trying to flank. Another one coming down. So it's not... That's like three... Probably another one up there that's moving really slow. It could be a uh, heavy mech or something, but... Looks like we're all, these guys are all light mechs. So then there's Stinger down here. Locust, we have a better chance to hit. So we're going to try and smoke this Locust. He fired already, so it should be pretty good to kill him, I think, if we uh, get enough hits. Nice. Alright, pretty close. Should be able to finish it up this turn now that he's got no... Uh, He's got no um, stability now, so we're going to sprint over here. Okay, so I'm only moving... Oh, we got another guy up here. I'm only moving the Phoenix Hawk and the Centurion on this side. These two guys will remain on this one side, I think. So we're going to fire everything on this guy. Wow, it's a bad chance to hit, but I guess it's because I sprinted. Uh, it doesn't matter. We hit him. hit him really nice. That should do it, I think. No? No? Really? Yep, there we go. Okay, cool. So now the question is, this is a what? A wasp. 
tons of small lasers. I don't like that. Uh, let's see here. Recoil. How far can we get around? We can't really get around the other side. Uh, we can come out here, though, and engage out here. Thinking, though. Let's do this. Going to stay on this side, though. Going to unload straight into this guy's face. What's up, buddy? Hey, what's up? What do you need? I want you to come out here slightly. Keep your left side to them. Understood. And say hello to this guy here. Let's give him the good news. Okay. These guys are trying to flank. So I don't want that. So what we're going to do, we're going to finish this stinger up and I think uh, what I want to do is the question is do I want to go with I guess I have to go with the lasers. So we're going to do this. I'm going to back up here, get some chevrons and target this guy. Fire everything. Yeah. We need to get a TTS for this guy. That hit so he's going to need to move next. And he's going to move and what? Fall over? I mean, it was kind of a nice idea, but look at him. He's like completely on fire. Okay, yeah. Hickory. This gives us the chance to move back a little bit. Like so. So, get behind the rocks, and let's unload on this guy. Okay, so that's two down. That one's gone. Domination through superior, superior firepower. So my next target I think is going to be this wasp. Locust 1B, not worried about. Yeah, machine gun and medium lasers. It's these, you know, six small lasers. Yeah, see, they're trying to surround us. It's technically a good move, but they're all light max. There's not much they can really do. With this big cliff here, they can't really surround us. Okay, the wasp is making it a little easier for me. So, we're going to rotate with the centurion first. Blast the Wasp, hopefully make him unstable, and then finish him up with a Phoenix Hawk, hopefully. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so, Cold Metal first. I think I still need, like, certain range here. Yeah, so we're going to move into here. Going to dump everything on this guy. Give him a fine, how do you do? Oh, okay, we don't have to finish him up with the Phoenix Hawk then. Bang, you're dead. So that guy's gone. Uh, Phoenix Hawk, let's move into here. On the move. And I think we're gonna do, yeah, we're gonna do this in, this guy here. Wow, good chances to hit. I'm gonna leave a small off though. I wanna start managing my heat a little bit more here. Okay, two hits, not bad. Oh, heat sink destroyed, okay. On that one. Sure was. So this should end pretty quickly now. They're down three mechs already. What, do you need? Uh, what I need you to do is to step back here. I'll do what I can. You'll do what I tell you to. All right, and we're going to shoot this guy in the side. This. Okay, there's a left torso. Now, if he doesn't move, should be able to finish him up with the Firefly here. But we're going to pull the Firefly back so he's not seen by the Locust. Okay, Commando. Is that a 1C? Probably. Yeah. Low armor. Yeah? Yeah? Let's get on this guy, buddy. No problem. So, let's leave off one of the small lasers. I want to make sure we kill this guy, so... 
Oh, not quite. Two fusion core crits, though. Oh, never mind. Okay, so we're not going to worry about him right now. We're going to start taking the fight to them a little bit, I think. So we're going to move here, I think. That's not really a great chance to hit, but we're going to do that anyway. I'm going to fire on this guy. Man. That light rifle is actually doing pretty good. I know I missed that time, but it's actually doing pretty good, even on low percentage chance to hit. So, kind of liking it. Uh, Alright, and let's get up here. Not really great chances to hit, but we're just going to fire with one medium laser just to get our heat back here. Hoping for a lucky shot, but... It no, it didn't hit. Is that the locust coming in? Yep. For a 15-point kick. 10-point kick. Ah, oh, well. Totally makes all the difference. All right, Recoil, let's see if we can finish this guy up. Let's just step back here. Yeah, let's see the other small laser off now. Wow. Yeah, man. So that guy's pretty much done the Cattle Master, really. Who was it that thought up the Cattle Master? All right, we're going to leave the medium lasers off. There we go. Well, we got plenty of light mech parts here. I wonder if this guy back here is a cattle master too. I don't think he shot from back back there, but uh, could be an, it could be a uh, urban mech too, but unlikely. Probably another Cattle Master. No, nope, Firestarter H. Ooh. So has this guy got just flamers? Two vehicle flamers. Okay, well. Arriving a little late to the party. Let's move into here. What's up, buddy? Ah, oh, I thought for sure he would have been unstable, but not quite. Let's get in here. Can put everything up now. Actually, let's leave the small laser off. There's no point in having it on. Let's fire everything. And that guy's down. He's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. All right, two left. Let's finish this up. Crapple Master. And let's reserve. Holding for the right opportunity. Bring this guy into the fight. Yeah, he's not quite there yet. So we're going to move over to, I think, here. Probably looks like a better chance to hit. Just going to walk it up, get some stability back, fire everything. So I'm really loving the Centurion loadout now. Uh, it's really, really heat neutral. It's putting out a good significant amount of damage. Let's get into here. Phoenix Hawk's good. Runs a little hot though, but I'm still loving the loadout. Uh, the only problem I think with the Phoenix Hawk is that the um, lasers are uh, plus one to hit, unfortunately. Or sorry, minus one to hit, which means it just makes it so much harder to hit stuff with it. Nice. I need you to apply some more damage to this guy over here, please. Fire and everything. So that's a couple quick missions today. We can probably pull off a couple more on this planet before we leave, so that'll be the next episode. Then we'll move on. Now, there's a couple planets that are close by um, that we can probably uh, get to, like in like you know between 11 and. 16 days or something like that. 
trying to minimize my jump times. I know we're heading towards the clan space, but we still need a bunch more gear. I want to get a try and at least have almost a second lance before we get there. So now I'm just shifting my target since this guy's going on turn three. Just shifting my target to this guy. See if I can take him down. I know he's already gone, but that'll free up these two guys to go against my other target. Because now Hickory yep. can do this. Push this guy back a turn if we don't kill him. And then my other guys can kill him. There we go. Doesn't matter. Target destroyed. So if they were mediums, it would have been a far different battle. I would have definitely gone behind the rocks, but in this particular case, there was no real need to. Um, with the light armor, they had reduced armor. Uh, not a lot of weapons. Not a lot. Of, you know, I'm not that worried about that kind of thing. So I just engaged them straight out. Okay, so we didn't take any significant damage. No components damage. I think we took a bit of hit in the arm here. Not a lot, though. All right, tons of parts up here, but we're going to go down and see what else we have. We got three things we can take, uh, which is really nothing down here. Primitive cock. Oh, small cockpits. No, we don't want any of that shit. Don't want any of that shit. Um, oh my god, we got like nothing here. 350,000. Man, it almost makes me wish I could choose mech parts, but a couple medium lasers, I guess. What's the AC2 worth? 50. These ones are 60, I think, aren't they? Yeah. So we'll go that route. Alright, so we got three stinger parts. Not bad. Yeah, crap with the rest of it. But I guess the best thing out of that mission was that we got lots of... Well, not lots of experience, but we got experience for our pilots, which we need. Definitely got to go into clan space with good experienced pilots. You can't go in there with, uh, with just uh, people you picked up out of the store. Or out of the mercenary review shop. Whatever you want to call it. Double, yeah, double heatsink kits, man. We need those back. If we had lots of mechs to sell, we could just sell them and just pick pick up one. But you know, on and then and get the uh, inside it. So, so yeah, nine thousand in repairs. So we made out pretty good on that one. Um, so yeah, we're gonna end the episode here, and. When we come back next time, we're going to try and pull off a couple more missions. I think there's probably a couple in there that we can do. Get that panther back. Um, so, yeah. Uh, until next time, you know, I'll see you all later. If you haven't checked out my other series yet, um, the Rogue Tech series, Funky Steve's Medinas, it's up on my channel. And also a Battle Battletech Flashpoint series, the 900 is on my channel as well. Um, yeah, I, I post every day for all three series, so feel free to check them all out. And until next time, we'll see you all later.